Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build your own ammunition plant in Fallout 4. This is going to be especially useful for players using automatic weapons that aren't too keen on shelling out caps or ammunition at your local vendors. Just before we start though, this video will be using a duplication glitch for cost effectiveness. I've included a link to my original duplication glitch video in the annotation on the screen right now or it's also in the description. I recommend watching that if you don't know how to execute the glitch, it's fairly easy to do, it really doesn't take long to learn at all. You can do this without glitching, but it's going to take much longer and it's probably not even worth it due to cost effectiveness. So the first thing is, what exactly are we making? Well, today we're going to be making 5mm ammo for our minigun. Anyone that has used a minigun knows how fast it blazes for ammunition, and 5mm can be costly in large amounts. To create 5mm ammunition, we're going to need steel and fertiliser at a ratio of 2 to 1, so 2 steel for every 1 fertiliser. Depending on the ammunition type you're making, materials will differ for what you need to create it. Make sure you go to a terminal hooked up to an ammunition plant and check exactly what materials you need, or the easy way, just google it. So, on screen now you'll see me duplicating some steel. Steel is super easy to get hold of. To duplicate items, get them out of the workbench, drop them on the floor, press the scrap button followed by the store button in quick succession. This will let you double your quantity. Again, for a proper explanation of how to do this properly and how it works, click the link in the description to watch my original video. Then, we need a decent amount of fertiliser. Head over to Abernathy Farm, they have a resident Brahmin that produces fertiliser. Take that from the workbench and duplicate it. I've got 140 fertiliser and 280 steel in my inventory now to create 1400 rounds of 5mm ammunition. So now we're in our workplace, the Mechanist layer. This is fairly simple setup, I'm going to run you through exactly what we have here. Firstly we have a terminal to control the entire grid, this is essential for specifying ammo type. We also have a switch that is wired into our machinery so that we can turn it off and on easily without any faffing about with wires. And now for the hardware. This is our first vacuum hopper and this is for the fertiliser. It takes the fertiliser up our conveyor belt lift to the right and into the hopper above. The hopper will then drop the fertiliser onto the main line. Our second vacuum hopper will hold our steel and as you can see it's a straight line to the ammunition plant. The ammo plant then leads straight into our conveyor storage which is our pickup point for our final product. Let's head over to the terminal and input our ammunition type. Go into ammo plant control and select your desired type of ammo. This will show you what you need to create it. I already know what I need for 5mm so this isn't a problem. Make sure you press X on the material screen to set your ammunition type. Now we're going to start loading up our vacuum hoppers with the desired materials. We're missing a few units of each just because I did a test run with this setup. We put the fertilizer in one and the steel in the other. Head back to the switch, turn it on and watch. The fertilizer will take a little bit longer to start dropping onto the main line mainly because it has to go through three machines, but with this setup it eventually will drop onto the main line. You can load both supplies into one vacuum hopper, but it's a lot slower. I wouldn't recommend it unless you're really short on supplies to build machinery, but then again, if you know the duplication glitch, you can just duplicate the supplies you need to make it anyway. So this is the best setup for time efficiency. Now, go make yourself a drink, maybe some food, and just wait for the magic to happen. Obviously don't pause your game, because that will pause progress. Okay, so we're back and our ammo run is finished. As you can see, all of our hoppers are empty, the ammo plant is empty, the conveyor storage is full of ammunition. This is a simple and easy way to create some of the hardest to find or most expensive ammo in the game, and using the duplication glitch costs you nothing more than the setup supplies. Thanks for watching, hopefully this video has helped you to load up your minigun to slay those legendary death claws, or maybe just cut down a few innocent red stags. Let me know if you found this helpful in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date my streaming video content for games such as Fallout 4, Overwatch, GTA 5 and more. I'm going to be finishing off my Nuka World stream series soon so be sure not to miss that. Again, thank you for watching and see you soon.